There's just something really cool about being able to speak English like a native speaker, right? To the point where people would think you're one. You would totally understand each other, including jokes, cultural references, play on words. None of it would be lost. It would feel effortless. Yet effortless is probably not how you would describe your current English, I'm guessing. So, do you want to become native like? Well, there is a way. And I'll share three secret tips in this video. Welcome to Smart and Easy English. If you want to be able to speak English natively and naturally, then hit that subscribe button and join our community. We produce amazing, interesting content for learners like you. We've got videos for accent and pronunciation and tips on how to improve your English. And our videos are subtitled in nearly every language because we hope to reach everyone. So click that subscribe button right now. Thanks. Three secret tips to be just like a native speaker. Speaking like a native is not just a question of language skills. Of course, to be mistaken for a native, you need to have mastery of the language. However, you also need to develop and master a coherent and consistent cultural identity within that language so that you sound, act, and feel like an authentic member of that culture. Let's first define what a native speaker is and what exactly makes a native speaker a native speaker. Essentially, a native speaker is a person who was raised speaking that language since early childhood. How does a native speaker acquire English? For the first five years of their life, children develop language by listening to their parents and family members, trying to use those sounds and mimic grammatical patterns to communicate. At around six, most children start school, and at this point, a child will have developed adequate, though imperfect, language skills. They may struggle with things like pronunciation and less common grammatical patterns. At school, children learn a formal type of English than they typically use at home. This would be the dialect of their mother tongue that they'll be expected to use in public as it's polite English. School is where children make friends for the first time. Exposure to a larger group of similarly aged children with comparable language skills and interests allows for the development of slang and other casual English. This is generally the experience that native speakers, or more specifically, educated native speakers, have with their mother tongue. A foundation laid in early childhood that gradually and constantly expands and is reinforced until adult age. This is the part that's hardest for English learners. You can attempt to mimic aspects of those genuine experiences and learn about formal and casual language, but gaining the genuine immersive childhood language experience is impossible. So what can a native speaker do that you can't, or at least not yet? In terms of formal language, educated native speakers can Use all common politeness forms accurately in conversation. Read common academic level texts, newspapers, and popular literature. Watch and understand films, documentaries, and news broadcasts. Understand radio and follow phone conversations. In terms of casual language, educated native speakers can use slang and curse words accurately, according to context. And they can adjust their accent and use of casual language to be more or less casual, depending on the context and who they're talking to. They can understand humor and things like wordplay, nuance, and double meaning. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but all of these skills are ones that the average native speaker possesses and you too can develop if you make a conscious effort. Not all native speakers are created equal. There are different types. 
many people are overly focused on improving their language skills, overly studying grammar, for example. You see, language is not just a collection of skills. Language is also a medium that both unites and divides different native speakers in different ways. It creates a common group identity, which you must be immersed in if you want to become native-like in your target language. First, every native speaker has an accent. Everyone has an accent in their native tongue. This accent communicates a lot of background information about you, such as where you're from, both geographically and culturally, your age, and your level of education. If I simply said English speakers, it would be unclear as to who I'm referring to. If I said Americans, Brits, or Australians, however, you'd have a better idea of who I was talking about. Among Americans, Southerners, New Yorkers, Californians, they're all different. This is what accent communicates, and it does so through the medium of sound. Accent is a quick identifier of the type of native speaker you're speaking to. Here's your secret tip number one. Decide exactly which native speaker you want to be. Get specific. Don't just say you want to sound like a native speaker. Decide which type of native speaker you want to sound like. The more closely your chosen accent and your own identity match, the more believable you'll be, and the more you'll be able to blend in. Do you want to sound like a musician from California or a banker from New York City? Which identity is closer to yours? Choose that one and learn that particular accent. But not only the accent, also how that particular native speaker lives. Not sure how? Watch movies and TV shows featuring that type of character. Live like they do. Design your life to be as close to that native speaker's as you can. And do this repeatedly until you become the character. Here's your secret tip number two. Use the right body language. If accent is the connection between culture and how you sound, then body language is the connection between culture and how you act. No culture on earth relies on just the spoken word to communicate. Nonverbal communication plays a key role in all human interactions and is done primarily through body language. So what are the types of body language? Eye contact, head nodding, casual touching, shaking hands, kissing and hugging, facial expressions, hand gestures. To be perceived as a native-like speaker, you need to learn how the culture behind that language chooses to use or not use these types of body language. As an example, hand gestures are a huge part of the cultural identity of Italians. Italians have a lot of hand signals to convey a whole range of human emotions. To speak in Italian also means using these hand gestures and using them frequently. If you spoke Italian and didn't know how to use these hand signals, natives would immediately know you're not a native, even if you otherwise spoke perfect Italian. Here's your secret tip number three understand the target culture. Seeming native-like isn't just about how you speak and act, but also what you know and how you think. In any cultural group, there'll be a collection of facts and experiences that unite the group. These things include geography, the way a native understands the country, how distances are described, what are some stereotypes of certain cities or regions? The significance of certain landmarks. History. The way a native understands their country's history. How they see themselves among other peoples and countries. Knowing the importance of certain holidays and famous historical figures. 
cultural assets. The movies and television shows all or most natives know and relate to. Famous authors and their writings that natives often refer to. Famous musicians and their music that define certain eras. Food. Both the foods natives eat and the foods they'd never eat. Also, what is a native's understanding of foods from other countries? Language. How native speakers use idioms, expressions, slang, and curse words, and when they're contextually appropriate. Which words they use to match the emotion and sentiment. Values and life outlook. How a native sees their place in the world and their ability to shape the future. What natives consider to be correct social behavior and what are considered social norms. So if you want to fit in like a native, you'll have to decide which social group you want to belong to, of course coinciding with your choice of accent, and make a conscious effort to learn and expose yourself to the cultural knowledge of that group. Remember, be as specific as possible as to which type of native speaker you want to be. So let's recap. As an adult learner, it's impossible to develop this identity to the degree as would a child. But if you make conscious and deliberate choices, it's still possible for you to become impressively close to that of a native. It starts with things like accent and intonation, and then expands to posture and body language. Hardest of all, we'll be building up your repertoire of knowledge and experience that will help you approximate what a native speaker knows. It's gonna be hard work, but becoming native-like is possible. It just isn't gonna be the work of weeks or months, but rather years, if not decades.